morning, good morning, you guys. Another day, Casey. Are you guys ready for school? Yes, I'm excited. Yeah, why are you excited, Casey? Because my birthday's tomorrow. Ah! Oh my goodness, you guys. I could not wake up this morning. I woke up, well, actually, I heard three knocks. Very loud knocks at 4 a.m. And then I couldn't go back to sleep for a while. I couldn't get up. I was feeling so sick. And then at 5.15, my alarm came on, and I just couldn't get up. So we went, We all got up at 7.10. Kitty and I are still fighting a little cold, but we're champs, so we're gonna make it work, right, buddy? No. We're gonna make it work, let's go. We don't have a fever. We gotta just go for it. We can't let a little cold stop us. So let's go. They're gonna go to school. I'm gonna go to work. Chop, chop. Okay, and now, drive to work. So I'll be there for the next eight hours. Then I'll come home, pick up the kids, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I just finished work and now I'm gonna go pick up the kids. They're actually going to go with grandma to the mall. Um, as I probably mentioned a few times already. Tomorrow's Casey's birthday and so grandma wanted to take her to the mall and do something special with her today, so. Alright guys, so I just pulled over uh, to pick up the kids and I hope you don't get too depressed but um, again, I try to show you the reality of um, our lives and truth is, I still cry every day I don't know why something triggers it whether it's a song someone asking me how I'm doing just, I don't know, little things I am at a better place i am at a much better spot now yes i try to be positive yes i have um somewhat hyped up personality sometimes but that doesn't mean that i'm not hurting in order to experience happiness you have to experience all your emotions you, you don't get to choose which emotions you experience and which ones you want to turn off you could try but in order to experience happiness you have to experience pain and so yeah that does not mean that i am not headed in the right direction i am more and more at peace with things i truly say this from the heart i don't have any negative feelings um there's what happened you know it is what it is and I accept it but somehow again I still cry every day so don't be surprised if I show you that <laughs> uh, every week I guess it happened yesterday and now it's happening today again so I don't know there has been days though that I skip and I'm like oh I didn't cry today high five but anyhow I'm gonna go pick up the kids now Casey how was school good who gave you that my friend Kimberly gave me these flowers and guys, a Subway gift card. Aww, that's awesome. You spoiled little brat. Um, <laughs> Are you excited about tomorrow? Yes. Yes. What's happening later on today? Um, I'm going shopping with my grandma. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Spoiled little brat. Yay. <laughs> okay, so the kids left with grandma and grandpa to the mall and I'm just gonna do some line cleaning because the house is such a mess. My thing is floors. I want to see the floors clean for some reason. Amy's thing is dishes, but hey, we all have something, right? I'm starting to feel a lot better, thank goodness. I am going to work out right after this, but uh, I just need to do some light cleaning. Today, someone super special to me is coming and I am super excited, I love her. Ah, it's my niece from Mexico, I can't wait to tell you. So I actually wanted to touch bases on a lot of people were commenting about um, converting the front room uh, into Caden's uh, bedroom. And the reason why I'm not doing that is because he is like so particular about his sleep. Like at a certain time, he wants no light, no sound. In this room, and I'll show you in a minute. Actually, let me show you now. If you see, this is a door and this is a room. And there's no door over there. So that would not work for Kaden, but uh, if you guys want to know a little more about this, um, two things I have to say. Let me sit down. Let me lay the facts here. Facts. 
I need a new face. And I'm breaking out like I'm 13. Ugh. Um. Okay, so the facts is that, so Amy lives on the other side of the house and my roommate that wants to um, remain anonymous. So I have someone moving in and it's a man. And it's my brother-in-law. Well, technically he's still my brother-in-law. So it's uh, soon to be my ex-brother-in-law who's moving in. So obviously I trust him. But I feel that he would have more independence and more freedom to do whatever he wants on the other side of the house. And that's why Amy's moving to this side of the house. And that's why Caden's moving into my room. Now, Amy and Casey cannot share. Amy is too old and she is a night owl. And she just cannot share a room with Casey. Casey and Caden do not want to share a room. I did give him that choice. It was between Casey moves in with me or Caden moves in with me. And quite frankly, Caden was the one that said, I don't care. Quite frankly, I don't use my room. Neither one of us, uh, other than Amy, use our rooms that much. We're always here in the living room. We're at work. We're doing stuff. We use our bedrooms just to sleep. So I had even thought about giving Amy my room and I moved into either Casey's or Caden's. But I love my bathroom, guys. I do not keep my makeup very organized, which is why I never record in the bathroom. And so I just love expanding my clothes and my makeup in my bathroom. And I'm like, okay, wait, after all, I am being selfish. Because I was gonna give Amy my room because it makes sense because I'm to the patio and she can deal with Coda and she can have her privacy and all her paintings and her music and she wouldn't bother anyone. Not that she does, but you know what I'm saying. But I wanted to be selfish too because I'm like, wait, I don't want to set myself uh, to feel frustrated um, and not have my space, my things. Like, ah, uh, sometimes I just want to close the door and be alone. And um, I don't know. That's why I'm not giving my room. Now, Amy has been talking a lot about moving out. That's not a fact. And I'm leaving it completely up to her. Obviously, I don't want her to move. But it's something that she's been talking about for many months so if that's the case then Kenan would just go back to his room and this is another temporarily move you know so that's where we're at uh I think it's really sweet of all of you guys who have concerns and we're commenting like oh my gosh it's a man <laughs> someone said like wait what's wrong with man uh woman can be just as evil which I agree but uh just for peace of mind for everyone, it is my brother-in-law, which I know a lot of people also find it weird. I had questions like, wait, your ex-brother-in-law is moving? So, just thought I should give you that update. Anyhow, I keep procrastinating. I need to work out. I need to clean this house. So, no more chatting. Let's get to work. Okay, so next I'm doing some laundry. I don't know if you watched yesterday's vlog. The washer broke on us, uh, but I was able to fix it. I'm a plumber now. Call me if you need me. Six to six, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, so I'm doing some laundry. Just got you now. Now you see why I don't block every day because who wants to see all this <laughs> cleaning? When I do towels, it makes me feel like I accomplished something because <laughs> it takes away from the pile and then you can fold them, put them away. It's just like, I did this. So anyhow, mental thing, yeah? I'm going to do an Oscar angle here. This is what Oscar would do. The kids just got home. How was the mall? Great. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I got it to match my best friend. I have to go to the store and get shred shredded coconut. You want to come with? No. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I really wanted to get Casey a cake. I didn't want to say that, but I mean, I do want shredded coconut, but I want to get Casey a cake so we can sing happy birthday to her in the morning. Oh, and I'm looking at plants. Okay, stay focused, stay focused. Oh. Okay, so we got her flowers. I got my shredded coconut, a ripple for tomorrow, which I'm going to need some cupcakes and a cheap cake that I found. Mom of the year, right? I need the mom of the year award, guys. Best mom ever. All right, time to get this work it down, guys. I mean, lazy. <laughs> I was reading comments. Um, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I seriously like, 
I know I'm an automatic <laughs> and emotional wreck, I guess, but um, I love reading your comments. I don't get to respond to all of them, but I do try to at least read uh, the majority of them. And I laugh and I cry with your comments. It's like you guys are so touching, seriously. I'm cracking up sometimes and then I'm like on tears and other times and thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. So I was told that I shake the camera too much, which is true. Uh, see, I do listen to your feedback, guys. Um, it is very hard for me to find something to do with Kaden. Kaden doesn't like to do much. He actually likes being home. And before this whole thing happened, he was a different kid. Damn it, this is gonna be like the depressed. <laughs> this is gonna be like the depressed channel, right? Oh boy. I promise one day I won't be so emotional. But. What I was trying to say is that um, Kaden is having a really hard time with this. It is very hard to um, get him to do anything before this happened. Kaden loves uh, drawing and reading and sometimes playing uh, certain games with um, that special person. And um, things did change, you know? He changed. He, he has changed. And one of the things... One of the things that he really enjoys right now is playing Fortnite. I don't know why I'm so emotional. Damn it, I hate this. Is that time of the month, maybe? <laughs> but anyhow, one of the things that he enjoys right now is playing Fortnite. And guess what? Yes, I'm a bad parent. Yes, bad parenting decisions. He gets to play as much Fortnite as he wants for the next couple of months and that's okay with me and I'm the mom and I get to make the decisions um, And you know what if that's what keeps his uh, mind preoccupied and happy I'm all up for it before that we did used to limit TV we used to limit media and we used to limit video games and Maybe one day I'll go back to that um but for now, no. He gets to play an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two hours a day of Fortnite, if that's what's gonna keep him happy. On the weekends, he has a free for all to play Fortnite. Bad parenting decisions, bring it on. Yes, I am making the bad parenting decisions right now, and guess what, it's on me, and moving on. But um, just wanted to point that out. Uh, so don't think that you're offending me, by the way, when you're like, that kid needs this TV. Uh, no shit. I work at a Montessori school. This is my background. I know how bad TV and media could be for children. Yet, if your child is going through such an emotional pain in such an emotional uh, period of time, for now it is. Of course, we try to find other things uh, for him to be more physical. We try to um, go on walks with Koda. Um, we have tried swimming in the past. We are thinking about doing maybe some um, tennis or Boy Scouts, but um, I do not want to force him to do something that he doesn't want to do right now. And that's on me. Uh, 2019 is just around the corner and we'll see then. It's time for me to say good night. Tomorrow is going to be a special day. It's Casey's birthday and we're going to have fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And let's hope that tomorrow there's no tears. Tomorrow is going to be a happy day. It's Casey's birthday. Bye-bye. Say happy birthday, by the way. If you're watching this, go say happy birthday on Casey's Instagram. She will love that. Bye. Ah! Oh! Oh! What is the F word, the first thing you want to say when I get hurt? Oh. Am I the only one?